So this brings us to the end of this unit and also the end of our portion. In this unit, we have discussed what is dissolution. We have also discussed what are the various modes, various ways in which the firms are dissolved. With you know, that we discussed what happens when the firm is dissolved. That is the consequences of dissolution of the firm. We did not discuss about the goodwill of the firm because we have already discussed of the on the sale of goodwill you know when we were discussing the partnership property in the previous videos. Then we saw what was Ghana versus Murray rule and finally how a public notice is given. What is the mode of giving public notice? So with this, this chapter on Indian Partnership Act 1932 comes to an end. In this act, we had studied what is partnership, what is the nature of partnership, how is partnership created, what is the relation between partnership uh, rather the partners, the rights and liabilities of partners. Then we studied as to what is the properties, what are the assets of partnership. Then we came on to studying the formation of partnership. We saw how partnership is formed. Then we saw what are the consequences of not forming or not registering a firm. We saw the disabilities of unregistered firms. Then we covered the consequences of dissolution along with you know, studying what is dissolution. And then finally, we ended with Garner versus Murray rule and the mode of giving public notice. So we have comprehensively covered all the topics in your syllabus. I hope you go through them thoroughly and score good marks in your exam.